So absolutely fantastic. I want to change gears a little bit and talk about people who are getting started with open telemetry, trying to view their first traces, get their stuff instrumented. Uh, something I mentioned a minute ago was that, you know, every developer is doing some kind of tracing, right? Or, or sorry, some kind of logging and sending their logs somewhere. But, uh, you know, what we expect in, in for modern architectures is we expect that developers, much like they became familiar with, with testing and automated testing years ago, is like, we want almost everybody to understand a little bit of open telemetry. So, uh, Paolo, why don't you uh, unmute yourself, introduce yourself to the people. Thank you so much. Hello. Uh, <laughs> Hello. Greetings from Brazil for everyone. Uh, let me give uh, some context. Uh, I'm working as DevOps engineer from Global Play. Uh, Global Play is uh, basically is the Netflix from Brazil. We, we are bigger than Netflix here on Brazil. Uh, we are a paid and freemium uh, platform. We have more than content. Uh, some of the plus the paid and no paid users. We have uh, 30 million users. So we are a big platform which uh, millions of requests every day. So uh, basically uh, our backend of monitoring uh, are entirely open source, but the APM are not. We are using the New Relic. Uh, we don't have nothing to say about New Relic. APM is a perfect platform, but is maybe some expensive, <laughs> but is a really good. Uh, and I have a, they give me a task to, to found and maybe a, a search on the alternative open source to use the APM. Uh, and that's a, 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 as well done. Uh, I found the signals. Uh, I, uh, is a really good surprise because these are really good. Uh, we make some tests with another like uh, <clears throat> Jaggers and, and <clears throat> Zipkin. Uh, this I think is not not good as a signals because you need to have maybe a two exporter, one for metrics and another for tracings. And the signals you just have a uh, one exporter. So, and, and, and yeah, that's and, a big, yeah. so, sorry, to, sorry to interrupt, but yeah, like that's, you know, like I absolutely think like if you are just in tracing and you only care about tracing, right? Like Jaeger can be a great tool for you, right? But most of us, that's just not, you know, like we were looking at traces just a minute ago and we sort of see how it's like, okay, sometimes traces give you a full picture, but, so, but sometimes you're just like, God, I just need to use, I need to look at what the logs are. And so you find yourself, like you open up the trace We've all done it. You like highlight the, the transaction ID. You go over to your tra to your logging tool, and you're like, okay, I got to search for this transaction ID and dig through the logs. Not ideal, right? So yeah, a unified system often makes more sense. Yes, and the and I think he, he, in the instrument instrument thing and ready like a uh, new relic. Uh, you have a prayer ready dashboards. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's why we chose uh, uh, signals. So we are implementing signals. We don't have a uh, turn off the new relic yet, but I think uh, we can do this. <laughs> but is this? So uh, my backend from signals from this from our work uh, implementing signals from Global Play. That's but from uh, a said uh, and and. Um, when the time I'm implementing, I'm making a course, uh, a course from Udemy. Uh, so my course is from DevOps. Uh, I decided to make a, a complete DevOps course on Udemy that have a, a entire cycle of DevOps and which the differential that we are uh, one hundred uh, percent open source, right? Uh, yeah, no, I mean, this is so powerful, right? It's like, you know, w when you went to make like a complete DevOps course on Udemy, maybe two or three or four years ago, it was a little tough, right? Because you're like, okay, how do you do some of these basic steps? And it's like, oh, you're going to use like, uh, uh, 
Logly or whatever other like SaaS tool. And then sometimes you'd have, especially that people like all over the world, they'd be like, hey, I cannot afford to spend $25 a month even on this tool, right? And so you're like, okay, you can't, I, you know, like, okay, so that part you're going to have to learn on the job. You can't preview it. So it's very nice, especially when you're trying to do something like a course on Udemy to be like, hey, this is all open source tools. So fantastic. I'm sorry for interrupting. Please go ahead. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you. Uh, okay, so uh, I present my experience, my work, and from with signals. I will share my screen now to, to. Yeah. Okay, uh, one moment. Uh, okay, uh, it's okay. My yeah. screen. Yeah, looks okay. good. Okay, so is my course is a Brazilian course yet? I have a idea to to transfer me an English version. Uh, of this course. So because it's a DevOps course, we have a, uh, maybe a implementing uh, running code from command line. So put it after on the Docker's and after get the Docker image and put in Kubernetes and make it deployment with Helm and have a CI CD uh, tool and, and being here on monitor. Uh, monitor is really, really important from DevOps. So, uh, we started the course using the Grafana, Prometheus, and Lock. Okay, that uh, was um, I'm using from past, but now my preferred tools is uh, Signals, especially. Uh, look here, we have a uh, Prometheus exporter from Metrics and Lock exporter from Logs, and maybe we have need this from Tracings. You need another tool like yeah. as I say, Zipkin. Uh, we have Zipkin, Jaggers. So. You you need to three export right uh, and and I I I I become happy to to know signals because I think it's a difference from my course because uh, I think it's, it's more modern open telemetry that can you export uh, logs metrics and tracings on the same exporter. So from the course we start with the class uh, teaching. What is APM? Uh, I think he, some people don't know what it really is uh, APM. Uh, so we have a class that uh, I'm trying to, <laughs> to answer this, this, what is APM? Uh, so after we have a Signals install class that we, we install Signals using Kubernetes. Uh, and after we have the class that we are instrumenting our code with, uh, with open telemetry, uh, the Gataria is the social media from uh, of cats that we use from learning on course. So oh, yeah. we, okay, <laughs> nice. Uh, so we instrument the Gataria with open telemetry and send uh, tracings in <clears throat> in metrics through signals. And it was good. So we implement a uh, APM. And after as a plus, of course, you can look at this. Uh, we implement the logs and metrics from Kubernetes using the example from Signals nice. documentation. Yeah, uh, no, that's that's really big. Is like being able to get some kind of like infra level view into Kubernetes with Signals. That feels very powerful. There's a recent blog post on this, which I'll link down below uh, 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 the, the video description, if you check down below for the backlinks, folks. Uh, please go ahead. Okay, nice. Uh, so, uh, okay, so you have the implementing the tracings, metrics, and logs. So, in you know, one platform is really good. And after we have a, a, a classroom that we discuss, because why I, I think it, Signals is better than even than Grafana and Prometheus. It's very consolidated platform, but it's like a it's like a new relic, right? You have a one platform, and you have the metrics. You have, can monitor servers. You can collect logs. You can tracings. Uh, in this, and I discuss this. I discuss because I I think the signals is a player change from our monitoring. <laughs> I think in open source, we don't have a, a tool so powerful like a new relic, right? <laughs> new relic is, yeah. is, is good. Yeah, I, I, so, I'm on jokes. When's the, where's the section where you teach people how to do trace tests? Um, 
So uh, we have one question came in from from Dimitri, which I, I, I want to cover. Uh, but uh, you know, I'll, I'll we'll, we'll hook the two of you up on the the, the Signals community chat to to you know get that get that uh, uh, information both submitted and translated into Portuguese. But um, so Dimitri asked, do you have AWS Lambda instrumentation with open telemetry in Signals like uh, ADOT? Actually, I'm 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 lost on. I I'm sure I should know what that. Um, initialism stands for but um is there aws lambda instrumentation uh interesting question you can report out to an open telemetry collector from aws lambda um so oh yes yes thank you adnan thank you i i, I, I had it and i lost it so uh you know signals can accept anything that is uh, uh, you know reportable to any other open telemetry collector so um and a common architecture is going to be a collector to collector connection. So maybe you're running a collector on your uh, uh, network or within within your system, and then and then having a report out to the Signals collector. Uh, sorry, Pranay, did you want to? Yeah, Pranay's linking to that uh, that e example. So so yeah, that's the general thing, Dimitri. Is that um, uh, it's it's yeah, whatever you could report with Open Telemetry, you can you can send into to Signals, no problem. Um, you are probably going to need, depending on how you tack it or whether you do some transformation, you may need to set up a custom uh, a dashboard to view that data. Um, it, 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 I would have to look at the uh, ADOT implementation to see how it's tagged as a service. If it has a service name, though, it's going to show up as a service. It's going to show up as uh, transactions on a service. Yeah, so I think, uh, yeah, go ahead. Also look at the open telemetry receiver. There's an open telemetry Lambda receiver, I think. Uh, if you're just trying to send data from your applications to signals, that should just work. Uh, so yeah, we have had users who use uh, open telemetry receivers to send data to signals. Should work. Yeah. So this is um, this gets us into a topic which we're not going to cover all of today, but of like um, one of the real powers of being completely open telemetry native is that the data that comes in from open telemetry from any source is a like first class citizen in our interface. And it's, it's worth doing some comparison there. Like other people will say, Oh, well, we accept open telemetry data. Then you go log in and see the dashboard. Where is it? <laughs> Where's, where is the data? Where did it go? Right. And it's like, Oh, if you click seven times, you'll find some little obscure menu where you can see it. Anyway, I'm sorry, Paolo, we got all off on a, on a, on a tangent there, but we'll we'll post some we'll post some ADOT uh, details uh, in there. But uh, I really want people to check out this course. I'm going to share it around. I have a few uh, Portuguese channels that I use, and um, I, I really love seeing uh, like DevOps instrumentation uh, you know, information getting more democratized and available to more people. Um, it's kind of a weird time for people who write like application code and are like coders, right? And like that's become very, you know, obviously very popularized, very easy to get information on. But DevOps information, not so much. DevOps engineering, not so much. So I really love seeing you share this. I think it, it's so, so neat. Um, do you have other places you'd like people to come find you or interact with, with your work, Paolo? Um, okay, I, I can send you the um, uh, my LinkedIn and the website of your uh, DevOps, okay? Um, Love that. We will send you on the chat. Um, right, and I'll add a link down below. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, okay. So it is. I expect uh, with my course, I can share the signals from Brazilian people's uh, global global play. My my company is very very famous on Brazil and very respected. Yeah. And 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 this, I think I think the the Brazilian. Uh, DevOps people and open source community will like it, and I expect my my crews can help in dance with uh, modern things like uh, signals. Okay, and I, I thank you from uh, Pranay and everyone from the signals team from from this from this too. Okay. Really nice. <laughs> and Paolo, I'm going to oh, send yeah. you a, a second envelope of stickers because the first envelope yeah. has not arrived, so I'll I'll have to. Uh... Uh, send you a send you a second second envelope of them soon, but uh, yeah, thank you so much for for all you do for the Signals community. It's it's really really appreciated. Yeah, and thanks okay. for spreading the word in the Brazilian community. I think yeah, we get lots of developers from Brazil, and it's really heartening to see like how a project can like cover all parts of the world and 
still get lots of users and lots of love. So thank, yeah. thanks for that. It's been really exciting seeing the adoption of like modern DevOps practices all over Central America. I had a lot of interest uh, to go and, and speak at DevOps Days uh, Bogota in Colombia. Well, that's in Spanish, so that's easy for me, but uh, uh, way, way better than my Portuguese. But uh, you know, yeah, it's just been so so fantastic to see. It's such a growing community, really, really neat. Um, and uh, I'll share Paulo's LinkedIn and other information uh, uh, down below the video. Thank you so much for joining everybody. We're getting right to the hour, so I don't want to keep anybody for too long. But uh, any any final thoughts on that? You want to say goodbye to people or give them any other uh, uh, notes? No, I'm just happy uh, I was here. So really, really thankful for everybody for the invite. Um, I sent some links in the chat as well if you if you want to do some follow ups. And yeah, I mean, let's do this again sometime. I guess you can be our guests next, you know? Absolutely. And and, and Paolo, thank you so much for joining it. And I want to just say that you have the absolute coolest like personal website logo I've ever seen. That's really great. I love that that style. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we I, I think the, we use the same uh, Doxaurus from <laughs> Back in. I like Doxaurus, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fantastic. All right. Well, we're going to take a couple of weeks off uh, 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 next week. We're getting to meet up all in, in, in person, um, which is fantastic. Uh, and then one more week after that, and then we'll be back. We'll be back in, uh, I believe, three weeks with our next uh, either hotel webinar, vendor neutral webinar, or one of our community calls. Uh, thank you so much for joining everybody. Uh, check us out soon. Do go ahead and uh, uh, follow us all over the place uh, on, on LinkedIn. You'll be seeing this on YouTube as well. Um, and we'll joining our uh, community Slack to get connected with our community. Pranay, any final right. thoughts before I hit the end, end the, the stream finally? No, I think we're good. I think it's great to hear from both Atman and Pilo yeah. and like, let's do this more. Yeah, this was fantastic. Good. Thank you so much, everybody. Cool. Bye, guys.